it's Diabetic Danica and today is a catch up I guess on another video I did. It was called mm, Diabetic versus Person with Diabetes I think and it was basically about my thoughts on the whole whether you should call someone uh, a diabetic or a person with diabetes, um, kind of the whole person first language debate. And I said that you guys should comment below on that video and let me know what you thought and then I would make another video kind of compiling all of your thoughts together. So this is that video. So if you just want to hear my thoughts on the subject, you can click this box on the screen or there'll be a link down below to the first video where I blab on about what I think. So now I'm going to tell you all what you think based on your comments, not like in a I'm putting words in your mouth kind of way. So there were so many amazing comments. I seriously found myself writing down so many and like copying and pasting and I had to cut some out because I was like, this is too many. So if your comment is in there and you wrote a lot, I might have just picked out a little piece that I like the most. So if your comment is like cut down a little bit, that's why. So hopefully you're okay with that and let's get to them. So first of all, I went through and I read every single comment and I tallied up who preferred to be called a diabetic who prefer to be called a person with diabetes or that they have diabetes. And finally, who cares? <laughs> the people that were like, I don't care either way, doesn't bother me. So are you ready? For diabetic, there were 39 people that said that they would actually prefer diabetic. Some of the people I couldn't really tell if they were just okay with diabetic or they preferred it, but for the most part, around 39 people. There were 12 people who wanted to be called a person with diabetes or to say that they have diabetes rather than diabetic. So only 12. And then finally for who cares, doesn't make a difference to me, whatever, there were 44 people. So it seems like the majority of the people that commented on that video don't give a darn. Diabetic, person with diabetes, I have diabetes, it all means the same thing. But that's not the end of the conversation. We're going to go ahead and read some comments and see what exactly you had to say. And it was so cool to read through all the comments because there were such different ideas and different opinions and different views on why you wanted to be called a certain thing or not be called a certain thing. And so let's get to them. Ba -ba -da. Jenny Spenson says that she usually uses the fastest way because like the internet meme, ain't nobody got time for that. KM683250 says, I prefer to call myself diabetic. Person with diabetes makes it sound like I am just the helpless victim of some horrible disease. Somehow the adjective form, diabetic, conveys that this is a part of who I am and it implies that I am in control and able to do something about it, which of course, I am. Philip Walter said, stay tuned for Diabetic Danica's next video, Person with Diabetes Danica. <laughs> nice one. Amanda Lay Bump says, using diabetic as a noun to describe myself sounds like equating myself with the disease. I may say that I am a diabetic using the word as an adjective. As an English teacher, I get kind of grammary about this discussion, but if someone else calls me a diabetic or a person with diabetes, I don't care. So for her, if it's a diabetic as a noun, like I am the diabetic, doesn't like it, but if you're describing her, then it's okay, like, anyway. Diabetic Erin says, I want to be called person with diabetes. Now I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of you, but I. I laughed when I read this because literally your username is Diabetic Aaron, and then you say you want to be called person with diabetes. Anyway, I respect that, like that's great, but I just thought it was so funny and ironic that your username is Diabetic Aaron. Anyway, um, he says, use inclusive language even if it's not easy. Yes, inclusive language is seven syllables instead of four, but it's important to intentionally include people. If people should not get upset, then help them by using inclusive language. Humans have many frailties and difficulties to overcome. It's not helpful to judge them as being too PC. If it's not clear, think how you would meanly exclude a diabetic. Would you say, go away diabetic, or go away person with diabetes? So at first, I didn't really understand what he was saying at the end of that, and then I thought about it, and I see what he's getting at. So he's saying, if you were trying to offend someone, right, saying so like, go away, like trying to be mean, you wouldn't say, like, which one would you more like be more likely to use? You'd be more likely to say diabetic. And so it kind of shows you which one is harsher, I guess, which is a good point. Ivan Roseland said, call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. Alpha Diabetic says, I like to be called an insulin dependent diabetic. It is way more aligned to what we absolutely need. I agree. Insulin dependent is a very important key piece of that. Morgan0327 says, I don't care whether somebody calls me one or the other because to me, saying I'm a diabetic isn't a label. It's just describing a tiny little part of who I am. It's like saying I'm a girl or a teenager or whatever. To me, it's saying that I'm fighting a battle, but I know that I'm winning. 
Miss Maniac the Mad says, I don't feel offended at all. I find person with diabetes annoying. Somehow it makes diabetes sound more like an illness, like some nasty condition. Whereas diabetic to me just sounds like a part of me, just as if someone says, I'm blonde, instead of, I'm a person with blonde hair. As a different take on it, T Tanya Refludin? Refudian? says, I personally get offended when people say person with diabetes because I feel like they're emphasizing diabetes. So look at that, it's the opposite. Somebody gets offended by being called the person first language. Who would have thought? Casey Vaughn 88 says, I don't mind being called a diabetic, I just don't like being confused with type 2, so I introduce myself as a type 1 diabetic. Key distinction there. A lot of people actually said they just don't like being confused type 1 and type 2, so that was a good point. Morgan Anderson says, To me, diabetes does not define me, but it surely changed who I am, and it made me a better person. I am stronger, braver, healthier, happier, and more aware of my body. I am proud of who I've become, and I am not ashamed of being called a type 1 diabetic. And then a couple people emphasize that it's really the intent of the language and like the reason someone's saying it that matters rather than the word itself. So a couple of those examples. Kat Sarah said, I don't care as long as it's not said as an insult, but if someone constantly said diabetic cat and I wasn't okay with that, I would be upset. I had a friend who referred to me as the girl who had the pancreas transplant at a party. Over and over, and it was a bad first impression, my transplant had failed and it was personal. I ended up leaving early and I'm no longer their friend for other reasons. Being newly diagnosed, I might have a problem with it. It's going on 20 years now, I don't care. When I was first diagnosed, I was ashamed and didn't tell anyone, but I was six and kids are mean. So I think her point is, it's the intent of the language, but also she's kind of saying it depends. Like if you're newly diagnosed, you might be more sensitive, but if you're not, you're kind of like, whatever. 